Hey people, this is Mike June the second. This is Let's Play Terraria. Now it's been a long time since we've actually played Terraria, and a lot of different stuff has happened. One, we've had a pretty big update since the last video. Uh, a few other things have happened as well, but I'm just going to show you this right now. Actually, something cool about um, Minecraft that they added just now is that they have a background function, and I'm going to keep that on for now because I thought that would look pretty cool. Not only that, but since the last video, I am actually now using Fraps, meaning you should actually be able to hear the fucking music in the sounds. <gasps> I know, different, right? Anyway, we're going to go back, Mike Jr. the second, let's play Terraria. Now, I went back in this world the other day just to look at something, and actually, I did change things around a bit that I, guys, that I didn't show you guys at all. Um, I made it a little bit more organized, and I put walls everywhere, because I figured you guys didn't want to see that. But yes, since the last video, keep in mind, I got the cloud and the grapple. And not only that, but a, that was weird. Did you guys see that? That was kind of weird. Wait, wait, see if we can do it again. Huh. Must have been because Fraps is going in the video to start. But I'm using Fraps now, meaning you should be able to hear the video. I've cloud in the bottle and everything, so we just got a lot of stuff going on now. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think now we just need to go searching around a bit more. I think I'm doing everything fine with what I have. I'll check my inventory, I didn't really know. Not inventory. Now, they actually have a button for Fraps, not Fraps, they have a button now for, um... Terraria. I don't know if they had this before, but it's if you press the E button, it automatically uses the grapple. Which is very nice, because it would suck to keep switching back and forth from the grapple. Just like being able to use the grapple in general. So, yes. And what's the auto-select button? Ah, yes. Okay. And apparently if you hold the shift key... Oop. You hold the shift key now, it actually has, um... It kind of switches to lights right away, which is actually cool as well. So the, the game's becoming a little bit more, like, friendly in terms of controls. Because you always hate it when controls get in the way of how you play games. But as you can see now, we, I put all my stuff over here so it's actually easy to access everything, including my materials. Ah, please excuse me, a little bit congested right now. And yes, eight gold bars and I need one more to be able to get myself a golden pickaxe. Aw, oh, yeah. But yes, things seem things to be a little bit more easier now. Hey, I got a gold coin. Very nice. It's been a while since I played this, so I might not remember a lot that happened. So if you guys are switching from the last video to this, I'm going to actually seem like an idiot right now. Which to some of you might not be that much different, but what are you going to do? Anyway, um, I've just been busy doing other things. Actually, I'll keep you. I've just been busy doing other things lately. I did my uh, Minecraft uh, Christmas Let's Play, which was a lot of fun. I did enjoy myself playing that. But it's now the time to start going back to Minecraft. Short sword, broadsword, okay. Need that, get rid of the mushroom. Need the wood. Okay, then we got everything we need. So I'm just gonna go searching around a bit and have some fun. Wait, did I drop off my money? I need to drop off my money. Oh, I know I already dropped off my money, okay, good. Sorry, I don't want to lose my gold coin at least. I'll keep copper with me, but I'm usually kind of lenient. I'm not lenient enough for silver and, uh... <laughs> other things. I've never actually gone searching around and having fun with this game yet, with the uh, grappling hook. Oh boy, why is it as soon as I start making let's plays, all of a sudden it's like, oh, hey, congested now. But I do apologize for that. I love this background too, it's so nice. And if you guys don't remember, the Minecraft, or should I say the, uh, the grappling hook doesn't do damage. So yes. It used to, but they got rid of it because I guess it was just you don't want to have that do damage. Ooh, is that... I never saw that before. Hey. We're gonna get that. I don't know what it is. It's probably gonna be iron, or whatever it was called. Yep, iron ore. Very nice. Don't mind getting iron ore. So yes, it's been a while since i played this, and I hope you guys do enjoy this. Actually, right now it is Christmas Eve for me. Not Christmas Eve. Um, sorry, that would have to be doing Minecraft still. No, this is New Year's Eve right now, and I'm just enjoying myself with this LP. This is stone, right? One thing I don't like about this new update is I think the regular stone is something important, but it's not. And here's the, um, baby-type looking place that I'd rather not pay attention to. So, yeah. Yes, I'm going to be checking out, because I'm bored, I want to go check out the, um... I don't know, I'll just kick you over there for now. Since I'm bored, I'm going to be checking out... No, I didn't want to go over there. Hey, hey, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. As you can see, the corrupted area has this new kind of stuff as well. Wait. There we go. 
but yeah, the corrupted area actually now has like a its own background as well, which is pretty cool. I do I do enjoy it, kind of. Not in the sense that it's fun to see, but and here's that chest from earlier that I think I wanted to get, but I didn't. But I couldn't get it because, well, it's kind of hard to get over here. But with the grappling hook, things become a lot easier. I'll get those silver coins later. Okay, let's see. Throwing knives, very cool. Grenade, ooh. Oh yes, we got a grenade. Oh. Ooh, that is so enjoyable, and some of you might be going, Michael, why are you freaking out about this? Well, in case you didn't know, when you get a, when you get your first explosive item, a new person comes to your town. So yes, and I think we'll actually take this. Yeah, that's right. I steal the stuff inside of the chest, then I steal the chest. I'm such an evil fuck. Maybe I should move into the corrupted. Just saying. Alright, then... Where's the lights? Here we go. Gotta start from somewhere. Alright, more torches. So, yeah. I should be careful still because I'm still, you know... Okay, this is that one kind of stone that I can't mine right now. So, yes. Come on, come on, come at me, bro. Come at me. There you go. Alright, then. Oop, oop. I die. I died. Right when I killed him, too. Nice. But I still have grenades. So, yeah. I think I lost all my money, or some of it. Yeah. Apparently you don't lose all your money. You only lose some of it. Fokod the Demolitionist has arrived. Yes! Where are you? Where'd he go? Where did the guy go? The wheel's also going too fast. I can't, like, talk to the person. Where the hell did the guy... Here he is. Here's the demolitionist! Dynamite. My... Er, a dynamite. My own special cure for all aisles... I can't even speak that. I'm sorry. And he smell... And smells. I can't even speak straight. I, I so apologize. He sells dynamite. So we might be confused and going, Michael, what the fuck is dynamite? What? Why is dynamite so important? Ebby stone cannot be broken until some stuff is cured, you could say. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not getting rid of the grenades for that much money. No, I didn't want to do that. But, yeah. So that so that's what it is about uh, dynamite. It can actually get some really good stuff for you. Chest doesn't mean anything. All right. Wait, no, what about you? Shop. Don't need you. Eh, I don't care about you. Increases defense by eight, five minutes. Uh, I'll keep that. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I want to use that in the future. Anyway, I'm going to go away so we can spawn inside of the house. As you can see, I made a lot of rooms in the last video. And they all should be compatible with um, uh, people being allowed to go in them. So, yes. So, I'm just going to go away for a quick second and hopefully he comes back. Oop. I heard a shooting star. Maybe this should be easier to get now. Wait, wait. No. There we go. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. To jump up in the air, just do that so I can get a little bit more distance to grab on the stuff. That's cool. Did he go inside my house yet? Yep, he did. Okay, we're good. Very nice. So then, we have a star. How many stars do I have? I don't think I have any more stars, so... Throwing knives. I wonder what's more powerful. These are the shuriken. Don't really care, to be quite honest. So yeah, a few new updates have happened since the last video. Um, any updates that are important, though? Something that is important is the simple fact that now... I'd get two dynamite if I wanted to. Fuck it, I'm getting two dynamites. They're fun. Um, I'm trying to say. is Something that's been really important that's been updated is that enemies now drop items now. Which is kind of weird. Um... Oh, 100 silver coins from that, okay. I was like, what? What's going on? Okay, then we're gonna drop off our... Stuff in here, okay. We're gonna talk to this guy. I made it so every house is accessible through here, and the way to get through here is... or get to this area is through up here, kind of, or I could use my grappling hook for up here. Anyway, you. I want two dynamites. From what I remember, though, dynamite used to be sold from, um... How much is that? Just one silver? Fuck that. 
But yeah, dynamite is very powerful. Be careful when you use it. A lot of people actually use dynamite, like uh, hackers, like uh, for servers. Some hackers go on the servers and st most of the people stuff with dynamite. So yes, I think I'll keep it. No, uh, nah, I won't keep it with me. I don't need it. I don't need it with me. What it's used for is that it's kind of used to. Um, it's used to help carry. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it, but. Uh, I put that okay I think I put my stuff in here okay I may need to organize again since it's been so long I can't really remember um but yes usually uh, dynamite is used to uh, destroy a lot of stuff and uh, it also destroys walls as well instead of just like physical blocks it also destroys walls behind them and I'm gonna go out and battle because I'm bored and also get some more stars because in the future we're probably gonna need mana when I have no clue I don't even have a mana object in my original playthrough. I was going through it the other day and a, meteor and a, a meteorite fell, which is uh, something that actually has very good stuff. It can help make the best items in the game, pretty much. Oh yeah, and here's a new zombie. Wait, wait, can we get the zombie? It's also even darker out in the open, which kind of sucks, but... The zombie kind of has, like, brain sticking out, which is kind of cool. Ah. Uh. See a green present. They drop presents now. Most of the time, or at least from what I've seen, it's usually candy cane walls, which you can actually plant, or candy cane stuff, and then you can get wall. Then they can make walls out of it. Hey, I got life too! Yay! I really do wish I had that pickaxe right now. See a yellow present. I know at least the yellow presents have the candy canes. I don't know about the green presents at all. Come at me, bro! Come at me! So yeah. Uh, for a quick second, Let's see candy canes and the green present has. Where's the green present go? I didn't. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking. Got a lot of money for this too, which is very nice. And what about that green present? Oh, here it is. Okay, green candy blocks, so yeah. So apparently the monsters are carrying candy, which you obviously don't want to eat. Don't eat candy from strangers. And it might be very dark for you guys. If it is, I do apologize, and I'm going to die. Ha. Huh. Didn't want to waste that, but what can you do? I'm just going to wait here and heal up. So yeah, green candy cane block, so yeah. Stop getting impatient, you guys. So yeah, they're just kind of a new kind of a block. As you can see, they just kind of look like candy canes, and you can also make walls out of them as well, so... Now then... A hole right there, we're gonna do my little trick again. Wait, wait, there you go. I know it's cheap, but I don't give two shits. This is Traria, damn it. You gotta find an easy way to get stuff. You can't do everything legit for the whole game. Are these fire arrows that I'm shooting? No, I don't have any fire arrows. There we go. I think I'm gonna try going home now. Got a little bit of my life back. Can't get me. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Can't touch this. Really shouldn't be singing that because I'm a horrible singer. As most of you should know. So, yes. Ooh, there's another star. I want that. Or we can just grab it from the outside. That works, too. I love that about Terraria. It's just so funny that way. So, yeah. Still need to get used to using the grapple hook since I haven't really used it at all. Shop. I was going to sell some. Can you sell candy cane? No, you can't sell candy cane. Okay. So, that's useless. I wonder if you can sell presents, though. That's probably possible. Um, didn't really want to use that one stone back there, so I'm going to put that back in here. Don't care for candy canes, so I'll just put them in here. So, yeah, just kind of kicking it back for now. Hope this video, video doesn't turn out too bad. 
it's going to be better in quality, that's for sure. And it's kind of good, too, that, especially with this new update. Actually, we're going to go down here for fun. Wait, do I have that dynamite with me? No, I don't. Just in case we need it. I'll take it with me, just for fun. Just for fun. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, why do we need dynamite to get through the Ebby Stone? Well, in the Corrupted area, you'll probably... S I don't know if you've seen them yet in my Let's Play, because it's been a while since I played, like I've said. But you can find little spheres. And these spheres carry very... Sometimes they can be either very good items... Wait, wait. Chestception. Anyway. Um, they can sometimes carry very good items. And uh, other times, they actually make certain things drop. I just got dynamite the other day for my actual let's my first uh, playthrough that I haven't really been playing through much, so that's why it's been the other day. And I actually was able to destroy one of them, and it cre it made a meteor drop. And keep in mind, you also need uh, dynamite to um, get meteors, um, or at least to obtain it, so you can make the meteor. Uh, what was it? It's like the molten lava pickaxe or something like that. There you go. Wait, wait. But, yes, and that's why you want to use dynamite to get to certain things over there. It's probably going to take one or two pieces of dynamite to actually get to the spheres themselves. But when they destroy, you got to be careful. Sometimes you can get that, or you can get bosses. Which you might be going, what's a boss, Michael? Oh, yes, there are bosses in this game, and you have to be very careful of them. Bosses are pretty much monsters that are very powerful. Carry lots of health, and usually people who fight them are smart enough to wait to fight them with, um... Yeah, you can't mind this. Um, usually have, like, tons of mana, tons of HP, tons of HP healing stuff. It's just shit people are really careful with. So, yeah. So that's what you have to be careful with. You don't want those to spawn. You kind of want the stuff to get good items to spawn, so then you can fight the monsters. So, yes. Anyway. It's just been a while. It's going to be kind of a weird going through the game again, trying to get used to it, doing Let's Play of this. I was very lazy with this, so hopefully I can get back to doing it. What the hell's that over there? It seems to be glowing, is it? I wonder what it is. Well then, I have to go in there and find out. Hey you, you f fuck. No, no. Get over here. Fuck you. Yay, glow sticks. Ah. Wait, wait. No. Not what I wanted to do. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay. So, and it looks like my trick still works, too. I was hoping that they were going to, like, try fixing that in another, uh, update or something. Can I mine this? Nope, can't mine it. Then got to get out of here real fast. There you go. Yeah. Alright, then. The last time I was down here, I did find both a cloud in the bottle and a grappling hook, so I can get myself a, uh... Or I found myself the hook, so I can get the grappling hook. So, yes. That was very good. Good times. Good times. And hopefully I can find myself a heart, too. Actually, I think this is the area down here. Gotta be careful of the bats. Hopefully I don't die. I didn't drop off my money, too, which I probably should have. Or did I? No, I, th no, I think I did, maybe. I'm not sure. God, having the cloud is so much easier in this game. And that's not even the last thing we can get, too. There is, uh, later in the game, I don't know if it still does this anymore. Ooh, feather wall potion. Slows falling speed. Alright, that's cool, then. That makes it so that you don't take a lot of damage if you fall, I'm guessing. More pot. Yay! And it seems like the pots are carrying a lot more better items now. Oh, wow! I didn't mean to do that. So apparently they have the green glow now to it. Very nice. I think it's trying to go along the line of the one point update in Minecraft. Where they, and I know I'm relating this to Minecraft, which some of you might not be happy about. But if you don't remember, in that update they actually had it so that the torches, like out, outside the light was just regular light. But inside if you used a torch it had like the red tint to it. So it made the game have a lot better feel to it. There's another piranha. I don't know if I told you guys this, but you can actually get a hook from a piranha because of a glitch. Though I don't know if they fixed that yet, but... Yeah. 
it's like a 5% chance to do it, so... Nothing I'd recommend, like, betting your money on, but... Wait, wait. Okay. I'm surprised. I thought the black uh, slimes, when they hit you, you actually lost eyesight. It was an update. Ah, oh, can't get me. I can get you, ha huh? I'm such an evil fuck. Ah, uh, wait, wait. You're not dead yet? God. <laughs> He's glowing as he falls down. Not gonna lie, that's kind of funny. Can't breathe, can ya? And he still hurt me, that's so stupid. Then again, I doubt, uh... I doubt jellyfish stop stinging just because you're out of water. Oh, because they're out of water. I hear the reason why jelly... I, I could be wrong, but I hear the reason why jellyfish sting is because it's like they're... It's like their things have poison inside of it. It's not like electricity, really. It's actually poison. Which I wouldn't actually believe at first, but it could be true. But then again, it could be false, and there's a skeleton. Without knowing him, I don't know... Well, I don't know. He might be able to get me. Or he can just fall to his death. Ah, uh, death. Ah, uh, no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And I died. No, I might have a chance. Need to wait 11 seconds to heal. Eh. Almost there. Yay! 50 health. Alright, while I'm hanging up here, I will shoot my arrows and kill these guys. That... I hit the skeleton. Oop, purple present, mine! Oh no, blue. Alright, I will go up here in safety and see what it is. More candy canes, yay! Fuck that. Hey, money! I want that money. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could break the stone your uh, thing was on, so... I figured to just make it, you can't break it, but I guess not. Now I wonder, over here, if you push shift... I'm confused, I don't know what the auto... I don't know what the auto-select button does, really. Like, I thought it was just with the, uh... There you go. Alright, then we're gonna go be a little bit risky right now. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff down there. I want that. I did it. Piranha. You stay away, bad piranha. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, then. Then we're gonna kill that skeleton. Money, I want that. Knew you were gonna do that. See, they do do eyesight. Okay. God, these monsters are making it so difficult to kill them. Come on. Only death. You guys can be that scared. Well, I don't want to die. Even though I come back to life. I'm like you guys. Haha. <laughs> then again, you guys constantly spawn, so. Who knows? Maybe we're fighting the same monsters over again. Gotcha. Alright then. Seems like we got tons of money and tons of arrows. I'm okay with that. Gotcha. I also dropped health, too. That's pretty awesome. And another blue present. I wonder what's inside this. <gasps> Candy canes! Yay! Something I didn't want. Because they're boring and they do nothing. More or less, the candy canes just wait spades. That's one of the few things I don't like about this new update. The fucking candy canes just waste goddamn spades. Alright, let's see what's down here, just for fun. Actually, I might want to end the video soon. God damn it. Come on, come at me, bro. Come at me. You know you want to. Whatever. You can be over there and be a loner. I'm gonna be an awesome guy and come up over here. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go back now. There's really nothing else we can really get down here. 
So yeah, I think we did a lot today, kind of, not really, just kind of getting back into the game, hopefully, testing out the new thing. So, yeah. I mean, we got a lot of money, I think, I think we got a lot of money. Oh yeah, we got a lot of money. So, there you go. I'm gonna get that chest now, too. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh the use of a grappling hook. I'm gonna have to get used to using it, but still, at the same time, it's so awesome. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta do it over here. There we go. At least it'll speed up parts of this Let's Play, too, so... That and the cloud in the bottle. Anyway, I was talking about the rocket shoes, I think. Um, I think... I, I don't know if they still use, uh, MP anymore, if they just do an extra jump. I'm not sure. They used to use mana. From from what I hear, they did use mana at one point. Which is really cool. I mean, it might waste your mana, but come on. But at the same time, um... It does make it so you can constantly go up. Or constantly stay up in the air, even if, even if it's at the cost of it. So all you really have to do is drink potions again. Constantly to stay up in the air. Constantly. Okay, nothing. Well, no, no, there's a pot in there, but I don't care about it. It's probably just money. Not really anything important. I mean, I, I really don't care about the potions too much, to be quite honest. Never really have. I mean, you, even like in, uh, like, Oblivion. I've played Oblivion a bit. And, uh, well, I've played Oblivion a lot, really. I've pretty much done all the quests besides, uh... I'm getting into doing the Thieve quest, but that's about the only one that I haven't really done. And, um... Even in that game, I really don't even care about the alchemy in the game, even though the alchemy can make pretty much... Buying stuff useless and selling stuff so easy and whatnot, but just don't care about it. Do 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 do. And it looks like the sun's just about to set, so sucks for us. But what you gonna do? Anyway, I think also. Hey, what are you doing out of your house for? You must be punished for death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine then, don't die, asshole. Here to give you a yeah, 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 yeah. whatever. Anything I can do with a potion? No, I can't. Anything I can do with a regular sword? Nope. What about a throwing knife? Ooh, poison throwing knives. Vile powder. Oh yes, that's another way to actually get through certain stuff. With the right kind of items, you can make a uh, uh, I think it's like purification powder and vile powder. Powder. Vile powder turns stuff into uh, things that are evil, obviously. And if you do it on a bunny, by the way, you can turn it into a killer and killing beast. Anyway, um, some of that include, like, the stone. The Ebby Stone, which is unbreakable unless you have a Nightmare Pickaxe or a Molten Lava Pickaxe, can actually, if you pur purify it, it turns into regular stone. But if it's, if you use Vile Powder on regular stone, it turns into Ebby Stone. So we could actually make our fortress almost undestructible with Vile Powder. Though you probably don't want to do that, but, eh, your choice, I don't care. So you can actually use Purification Powder, which is actually probably a lot cheaper than getting Dynamite, maybe. Though it might be harder to get. You can actually use Purification Powder to, um... Change Ebby Stone, so it's a lot... So it's kind of like a little bit less cheaper, but you still gotta dig through all the stuff. But anyway, I think we're done for now. I kinda got back into doing this Let's Play, which is good. I do want to do this Let's Play, because... Unlike when I... Because I've already actually already started another Let's Play, but... I'm just uploading old episodes now, and I really want to do something where I upload something currently. Which is going to take a bit of time. But anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoy Fraps and the new update of Terraria and whatnot. So yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. I will catch you in the next video. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out.